channel. My name is Caroline Zook. This is my husband, Jason Zook, and we run a business called Wandering Aimfully, which is an unboring coaching program for intentional online business owners. We are traveling in Europe full-time this year, and we're taking you on the journey with us. If you've been following along, this video is gonna be a little bit different because mm -hmm. we are gonna take you along on a tour of the Royal Senses Resort and Spa. And this is not a sponsored video. This is a vacation, basically, that we took, we paid for. We did research on TripAdvisor. We read all the reviews. We looked at all the photos. But it was hard to get a vibe of the hotel, and we ended up kind of just like taking a risk and going there, and we loved it. Loved it. So we're going to share it with you. And just as a reminder, again, this is not sponsored at all. We went to this hotel, we paid for it, and we want to share they it They don't you. know we're making a video, so we'll Watch see how Watch out, goes. hotel. What? What? So before we get into the hotel itself, we intentionally chose this week to stay at the resort because we got this advice a lot when people were telling us about traveling full time for a full year. They were like, you're gonna need a week where you can kind of take a vacation from just the nonstop planning and decision fatigue and just all the things that come along with doing how much traveling we're doing. Yeah, and so it's been four months, so this kind of fit in well there. Also, it was my 40th birthday. It was your 40th birthday. I know I don't look a day over 22. Thank you so much for saying that. <laughs> uh, we built up a bunch of Hilton Honors points through some credit card points hacking last year, and we basically looked in Europe for all the Hilton properties, and we found this one. And you may be thinking, oh, is this on Mykonos or Santorini or any of the other kind of maybe more popularized or traveled to aisles? And it's not. It's in Crete, but that has a whole different vibe to it that we really love. Yeah, very natural, very earthy, and that was really appealing to us. So that's how we chose it and we'll get into more detail about how the points come into play later on. Now we are going to get to the hotel in a second, but for those of you who have been following along on our journey, we wanted to share with you how we got to the hotel. So last we left you off, we were in the south of France. We took the train from Avignon up to Lyon and then we stayed one night in the airport hotel at the Lyon airport. Such a nice hotel. It was incredible. The yeah. food was really good, surprisingly. And then we hopped on an Aegean Air flight, a direct flight from Lyon to Ericleon. Yeah, there is one funny anecdote we wanted to share about this, which is that we did book business class tickets on the Aegean Air flight. They were like 100 euros more per ticket, which is probably why most people don't book them because it's not that much of a difference. And if you know European airlines, like the seats aren't that much more comfortable or anything. But we had the whole business class cabin to ourselves, which was hilarious and weird. We were the only ones in, in the business class cabin. We were like, hello? Anyone? Yeah. And then when we landed, the flight attendant kind of blocked everybody else off. We got off the plane. We got into a shuttle bus because that's the only thing we thought we could do. It was 11 p.m. at night, by the way. And then we turned to look back and expected more people to be coming. And then the flight attendant just goes, bye. And then the doors close and the bus takes off with just us in it. It was super bizarre. I, I panicked. I'm I guess be honest. Perk? I was like, were we not supposed to get in the yeah. bus? I was just very confused at first. And then it took about five or six seconds to be like, oh, this is like a business class perk. And it just yeah. felt like really weird, really wasteful also, yeah. and completely unnecessary because by the time we got to baggage claim, everyone was everyone behind us Everyone was behind anyway. us in the other buses that arrived. Yeah, after we arrived at the airport, we picked up our bags, we grabbed a taxi. There are no Ubers on the island of Crete, just for you to be aware of that. And we had a one hour ride in the dark on some windy roads. It's a little rough for those of us who have car scary, anxiety. But we handled anxiety. it fine. And we got to the hotel, we got all checked in, and then we had a nice little nighttime golf cart ride to our room. All right, now let's get into our normal categories and talk about what we did at the resort, the room itself, where we stayed, and then also what we ate at the Royal Senses Resort and Spa. what we did at the Royal Senses Resort and Spa. One thing the resort and spa is not in a shortage of, and it is pools. Yeah. There are main area pools, there are pools by the actual spa, there are private pools if you book those in your room, which we did. So we did spend a bunch of time just in our private pool. We actually didn't go down to the main pools at all, except just to walk by. And they looked lovely. They yeah, looked of fantastic. Amazing. But we really just, we lounged, we floated, mm. we swam, I did some laps. I read and a book. Yeah, just a bunch of sunbathing. And again, this was really a vacation for us. So the bulk of the time was spent just enjoying that space. Now, speaking of pools, but not necessarily relaxing, Relaxing pools. Yeah. The property actually has a what they call the aqua park. Mm -hmm. And at first I thought this was just like a kids water park, which they do have a kids area, but they also have an adult area. Yeah. And guess who decided to go down there one day with not a single other person in the aqua park? So we had basically a private aqua park to ourselves. This was hilarious because I remember seeing this in the photos and videos, but I couldn't get a real gauge on like can big kids go there? Is that okay? And we showed up and there were two gentlemen working there and we're like, we can go on the slides, right? They're like, yeah, go ahead. 
Not a single other person there. Just got to zip down the slides. Super fun. The windy one. Uh, I don't know if it was like necessarily like there wasn't enough water being pumped through. I tried to record myself going down like halfway. I got stuck. <laughs> so I had to like the push straight, myself. The straight downs were more straight fun. Straight downs were perfect. The windy one, you just kind of had to really get a lot more momentum. I think maybe I should have gotten a running start. But yeah, we had a ton of fun at the aqua park. It ended up being just a private aqua park for us. So who's going to complain about that? It was great. It was so fun. <laughs> In case you didn't realize from the name, Royal Senses Resort and Spa, there is a spa on the property. And for your 40th birthday, we knew we wanted, and I say we, wanted to get pampered for your yeah. 40th birthday. I mean, you know, when it's someone's birthday, the other person gets to celebrate exactly. as well. But yeah, we did a full spa day. Really love the experience of the spa. You go downstairs, it's kind of in this dark, moody, mm. luxurious vibe. Uh, we really loved all of the different kind of amenities that were down there. I took advantage of the steam mm -hmm. room. Of course, we got massages that were wonderful. And then you also got a pedicure, but this I wasn't did. in the spa. Yes, so I will say, just a heads up, if you do decide that you want to get a pedicure, Cure. It's actually not in the spa area. That's kind of what I was expecting. You go to a separate little building by the lobby and it's more of just a little basin and they did a great job, but just if whatever you're used to of getting a pedicure, maybe don't have that expectation. The last thing that we did while we were around the resort and spa was we took advantage of the fitness center. This was actually a really nice fitness center and for two people who are traveling full time, it can be really hard to find a good gym to mm -hmm. get in and feel comfortable in. Uh, I do know, also know they have a personal trainer. We saw her it's in It's pretty there. much there every single day and it's just included. You don't have to pay extra for it. I don't think that's just gonna caveat that. Yeah, and I think she also runs some Pilates classes, some yoga classes, so definitely look into that. Also, we did see an entire tennis court, which we had every intention of playing tennis because it's something we used to really enjoy, but there was just so many things to do. And by that, I mean we were relaxing too much. And <laughs> so many things to not do, yeah. like being in the tiny pool. So that's pretty much what we did all week. I will say, I know there were some things that you could do like off the resort and excursions and things. Our intention was just completely to relax, but I was really impressed with the amount of different zones and places and activities just within the resort property itself. So we had a great time relaxing. <laughs> Where we stayed, the room. Now, if you remember, I mentioned some Hilton Honors points hacking. We took all of our points and we put those toward a grand deluxe room with a pool. Now, something you should know about being a Hilton Honors member, whether you're diamond status or what have you, this specific hotel does not let you upgrade from a room to a villa or a suite. So you can't go from room to suite. You can only go in between the rooms and then you can only go in between the suites and the villas as your upgrades. So we did that and then we did the optional pay to upgrade to a suite and then the hotel was very kind and they upgraded us to a villa. Say what? Because we were kind of before high season, we further got upgraded. You also might have mentioned that it was your 40th birthday, so they were very yeah. kind. But just something you should know yeah. when you're looking at booking the room so that you have an idea of, oh, like the normal Hilton Honors like points thing, it may not apply perfectly in the upgrade system, just so you can hear how we did it. So yes, the official room that we booked was the Royal Senses Villa. Yes. Now, a few things to know, because I know if you're watching this video, you're like, what you're are curious. the downsides? Yeah. A couple of caveats to this room, which was incredible, and we'll show it to you in a second. The villas are at the very top of the resort. The resort is kind of set back on this hill. So it is quite a climb if you're trying to go from the main restaurants or the pools or things like that all the way up to your villa. We kind of enjoyed the walk. It was yeah. a nice little workout. The hotel also has, what is it called? The it's a funicular. funicular. It's fun to go up this vehicle Maybe that's why it's funicular. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> there aren't many elevators. There are some elevators, yes. but they only go up one level and then you kind of have to like move around. It's like a little like weird game you got to move around. <laughs> yeah. But the funicular, I could see in high season, and we read this in some of the reviews that people were a little frustrated that only so many people could get in it. And, so it, you, and it does move pretty slowly, yeah. I think probably for safety. So it's not an efficient means of transportation. It is cool. Yeah. And we just ended up walking a lot of times. Yeah. Now the second caveat with these villas is that the entire resort, as I mentioned, is basically up on a hill. And so the villas are at the highest point in the resort. So you get this beautiful panoramic view of the ocean. However, sorry, that's the Aegean Sea. The Aegean Sea, excuse Thank me, yeah. geography. Oh, sorry, I think it's the Cretan Sea, actually. Which wow. is a part of the, we're not sure. You're getting this all in real time. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, you get great ocean views. However, you do see lots of 
rooftops and because you are so far back from the water and you do see a bit of the road and other hotels that are right on the coast. However, I will say, I thought it was incredibly thoughtful the way that they sort of architected out the resort because you can tell they thought about the way that they put certain things in the rooftops yeah. is still that it's very pleasing to your eye when you look out over the water. But if you weren't, if you were expecting to be right up against the water, that's not this resort. Yeah, just for you to know that and to maybe manage those expectations, which we did when we looked at like some drone footage of the hotel mm -hmm. and things like that. So we'll have shown you some clips so you can kind of see the view and how it works out. Just from two people who stayed there for basically a week, it was totally fine. We and were very stunning. happy, had great sunsets. It was lovely. Now let's get into the room tour. And by room tour, I mean tour of what is basically an apartment. Yeah, so when you hear the word villa, you know there's a little bit more space. There are two floors. The first floor is your living room, and then you have a dining room. There isn't a kitchen, but you have kind of a little setup with a fridge and some accoutrement. And then there's a second bathroom that's downstairs with a shower, toilet, everything, which is really great for full-time travelers to have all that extra space mm -hmm. to kind of spread all your stuff out. Really, the best thing about the room is your private patio with your pool and it's just a very lovely space. There's a little table where we had lunch and even dinner one night. Yeah. It's beautiful. Something to mention about the pool is that it is a saltwater pool, which we absolutely love, Amazing. which all pools are saltwater pools. And then when you're staying in the villas specifically, you can pay to heat the pool, which if you're staying in the summer, you probably won't do this. But when you're in the off season like we were, the pool, the water was pretty chilly. Now, I will also mention the main area pools down below. One of them is heated mm -hmm. full time. So if you don't have a room with a pool or maybe you do have a room with a pool and it's too cold, you can always go down there. But this is just something to mention. We loved this pool and it was great. It was worth it to have it heated. Now, as you make your way upstairs in the villa, you get to the one bedroom, which has just a wonderful view of everything. This was my favorite part. So we told you that we actually arrived at 11 p.m. So it was dark and so we just were so tired from the flight so we went to bed and the next morning waking up with this stunning view of just the ocean was Again, it was my Crete favorite sea. thing the Mom, sea. Gotta get it right they're yeah. all it's you know it really is all it is technically all one body of water it is you're there correct you uh but yeah the upstairs bedroom had its own bathroom had a big closet mm -hmm, where we were able huge. to hang up all of our stuff and then the shower was a really nice feature it had a glass roof yeah it just made you feel like you were showering in nature and then one last thing was the day bed i yes. think it's just nude sunbathing we, only right yeah our, it's our the only assumption thing to do is nude sunbathing because it does kind of have this like high wall and it doesn't really have a view of anything yeah but then i thought oh it's like a, um, you know, pri what do they call it? Privacy screen. Yeah. Did you do any nude sunbathing? I'm not going to tell. Oh, I don't, I, I didn't in case anyone was wondering. I could. Were you wondering? I hope you weren't wondering. Anyway, that's the room, the villa that we stayed in Beautiful. at the resort and spa. Let's talk about what we ate. Our favorite topic is food, if you've yeah. watched any of our videos. Yeah. So let's talk about what we ate, because this resort food was maybe the best we've ever had. At a hotel, uh, I believe so. And we've stayed at some pretty nice hotels around the world. Uh, some of them have had pretty good culinary experiences, but I think overall, from breakfast, lunch to dinner, the resort and spa in Crete really, it wowed us. It, we For really like a that. big resort. Like yeah. we've obviously stayed at boutique hotels where sometimes you get more of a culinary vibe, but I will say for a resort of this size, I was extremely impressed. Starting with the most important meal of the day. I don't even know if it actually is the most what? important meal of the day. Who even says that? Thing. Breakfast. The breakfast buffet, now again, I don't know how all the packages work out when you book a room, but it is included in the price, at least it was for us. And I would say this is a very good breakfast buffet. I don't think it's as good as Fars. I disagree. Really? I do. You're saying it's better. Again, it's bigger for sure. We've been over this. It's yeah. just the the sheer amount of zones. Yeah, there were a lot of zones. So many zones. Yeah. Like there's like a hot zone. There's a omelet zone. Yeah. There's a waffle bar. There's a fruit thing. There's a smoothie thing. There's yeah. a champagne thing. There's a dessert zone. Yeah. Dessert for breakfast. Again, Why not? we did have this argument as well at the hotel, and my retort to you retort about our breakfast me. buffet was the a la carte menu that you could also get in okay. far was fantastic. Still a very good buffet at the resort and spa. We just wanted to have Incredible. this little argument so you could be with us. We love that. arguing about buffets. Let's do it. Now moving on to lunch, you have options, okay? Mm. You have, first and foremost, you have the pool bar cafe. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. It's like a simple menu at the pool. Yeah, I love, we had like a poke bowl and like a little wrap, delicious. 
Then my favorite, which we didn't eat at until like the last day, which was a huge mistake on our part, they have these three little pop-up lunch restaurants with just the most extensive menu you've ever seen, yeah. but they each have a different vibe. There's like a pasta place, there's a wood-fired pizza place, lots and lots of options. You could just eat there every day and not run out of options. Yeah, and then the last lunch option is the room service. So if you want to order something directly to your room, we actually did this a couple times. We found the food to be very good. I would actually recommend to go with the more kind of like Greek options on mm -hmm. the menu because I felt like those like I ordered pizza one day just as an example it wasn't as good as the pizza when we went downstairs to mm -hmm. the pop-up restaurants but everything that we got that was like a Greek item like the salad like or the Greek skewers salad, delicious very very good in the room we saved the best for last yeah the dinner restaurants first we'll start with the first dinner restaurant which is Matado Matado yeah we didn't actually go to the dinner buffet we're not going to mention that oh yeah because yeah we, we didn't go didn't but there is one I again think maybe it's included but we just really liked these two restaurants in the menu so we just went for it uh, you do have to pay for these two restaurants just so you understand that Matado was the first one it's right across from the buffet it was great the view was wonderful I think my favorite part though the food was good but the live Cretan music that was being played every single night that we were there, it was there. And he was fantastic. I'm not sure if it's the same guy forever, but he it was wonderful. He had this like tree of different instruments, which yeah. I assume are traditional Cretan instruments. And just the sounds of this music was so beautiful. And it just transported you to a different time and a different, I mean, I would say a different place, but no, the place you were in. Yeah, yeah. So you actually felt you were there. <laughs> it was beautiful. And then from there, you can take a walk up the hill, which was actually very close to where our villa was. Mm -hmm. There's a whole separate restaurant, which is called Kritamos. Okay, first of all, we accidentally had a private dining experience. Accidentally, <laughs> okay. We got there, I guess, or the first night that we were there was the first night that this restaurant was opening for the season. Yeah. And we just happened to find this out, and so we thought, well, we'll go for opening night. Yeah. We expected it to be very busy because opening night, we get there and there's nobody in the restaurant. Yeah, the one person who was there had like just finished his drinks and things and left. And it was us, and it was the amazing server, Angelos, mm -hmm. who was just so friendly. And then Chef Moses and his mm -hmm. team were preparing the food. We got to meet all these people, as you will if you go to this resort. One of our favorite things is just the people here mm -hmm. are fantastic. But we ended up having this beautiful sunset on this table out by ourselves, and we did the tasting menu. We did the tasting menu. Do If you go to Cretamus, do the tasting menu. Yeah, It's it, worth it. We, we actually, again, because this was an accidentally private dining experience, halfway through we moved to a table up where we had more light. Mostly just because we wanted to see the food because yeah. the food was so beautiful. And we felt kind of weird and Angelus was like, no, of course, like, there's, there's, no, one here. there's no one here, like move. So yeah. that also felt very special. The flavors were incredible. The thought and care that went into each dish. I even had roasted eel, yeah. which is not something that I would ever choose nope. myself. As your husband, I can say <laughs> you've never ordered eel in our 12 years. But so. it was really good. And I was I felt very adventurous because I felt in very capable hands, in the hands of the chef who just made incredible flavors. So if you can't tell, we were very happy with all the food options. We definitely would say that this is just, again, some of the best food we've ever had at a hotel. So many different options. It was also, great. Remember that one night where it was like the best sunset we've ever seen in yeah. our entire lives. Yeah. And they acknowledge too, they're like, mm, this one's a little bit different than most. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's beautiful. So that was our experience at the Royal Senses Resort and Spa. And now the big question is that you're probably wondering is, was it worth it? Were we happy that we went and spent our vacation week at this resort? And the answer is a resounding yes. Yeah, I think you could tell by all the things that we kind of gushed over throughout this place. So I would say we actually don't even have anything to complain about. Yeah. And we did go during off season. Mm -hmm. So we just want to remind you of that, that if you get there, maybe it feels really busy or the staff feels like they don't have enough time to talk to you. Maybe that's a different experience. But for us, this was just magical. I mean, we would go back every year at the exact same time. Yeah, and I will say, if you're someone who does have this idea of a Greek vacation in your mind that is more of the Mykonos kind of vibe with the white buildings and the blue roofs and all of that. It's not that. It's yeah. it's very Cretan. It feels very considered to the area. It's very, like I said, earthy and natural. And you have this sort of like rugged landscape. So just go into it with that in mind. I just love the way that the resort feels very, like it fits into yeah. the landscape. Yeah. Now it's time for 
the rating scale. Okay, let's, let's see if we can do this. Let's see if you can do it. In Lisbon, uh -huh. we had the peacock scale. We sure did. In Kinsale, we had the seal scale. Yes, we did. In Ballybunion, we had the seashell mm -hmm. scale. Uh -huh. In Split, we had the cats. Yeah. In Far, we had the sailboats. Uh -huh. In France, we had the croissants. Uh -huh. And here in Greece, we are going to have Tell them what it is. What is it? <laughs> it's the cocktail oh, that's right. scale. Ooh, this, that works out well. Yeah, I totally forgot what our scale was, but I was so impressed with that you remembered all those. Yeah. The cocktail, because it was a vacation and resort vibe. All right, what are you gonna give it on a scale of 10 cocktails on the cocktail scale, which is just fun to say, how many cocktails? I, I have a feeling I know what you're gonna give it. 10 cocktails? I, yeah. I, I gave it 10 cocktails. How, this is our first 10 of the trip. I don't know how it could have been better. That's the thing. So that's the, really where the scale comes into play is, could it have been any better? And I think when we were at this resort, we kind of said that the entire time, like this is just a perfect resort experience for what we were looking for Maybe again. Just, the only thing I can think of- But you're not gonna take a cocktail away. I won't take a cocktail yeah. away. The only thing I can think of is if it was like directly right on the ocean. Right. The way that they set up the resort, knowing that it has to be a little bit further back from the coastline. Yeah. I'm, I'm really happy with what they did with that. I agree with you. It's our first 10 of the year. Wow. 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 And if you've been watching our videos, here are the sneak peek clips of where we went to after the resort and spa, where is it? Is it a new country? Mm. Is it the same country? Mm. Is it a different island? Mm. What is it? Leave a comment below if you want to guess. And thank you so much for watching and following along on our adventures. Bye. Bye.